Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner. It's been way too long. It took me a good few minutes of assessing the map and where things are, trying to figure out what it was we were doing. I think I know. I think I've, <laughs> I think I've understood where we're at. So I've come in and I am in the Land Rover. So I think what I could have done is just gone back and. Um, watched the last episode I guess but that would be too easy wouldn't it why why would I do the easy thing that's not what we do here this is a hard mode after all I think my next job on my list is timber for the locals so that's back in Black River and if I remember correctly we don't really have any fuel back there so I'm coming I think I'm coming to get the uh, small fuel trailer that's probably empty down here, gonna get the small fuel trailer. Fill it up because there is a fuel trailer down here, a larger one. Fill that up. Take that back through. I guess. Um and then take the P16 back through. Get them both to the logging station. Deliver those medium logs. And then we need to get all the vehicles out of Black River because we are done there. Bring what we need through to the dam because at the dam we can get medium logs to go everywhere else pretty much. And depending on... I, I, I forget, I didn't look to see what it's like. Depending on what Island Lake is like and what fuel I've got scattered out there still, um, we... we could and should be able to run medium logs out of Island Lake to serve um, Drummond Island. That's what I'm thinking. That's what should be possible. Let's see if we can do it without getting too stuck. Now to warm up to the controls, I <laughs> I've been back on the console and um, playing some of that lately. Which is, um, you know, that save is set up completely different to this one. I've pretty much completed all of Michigan there. Actually, no, I have completed Michigan there. And I've sort of part way through Alaska, part way through um, Time Air. So that's, that's all very different. So what I'm doing there isn't even relative to what I would do here at the minute. And that's on a normal mode as well. That's not hard mode. So I get to do what I like. I get to what I like on the console save. We jump about and we recover for convenience because you know time is limited. Maybe get an hour to uh, crack on with that during the day while our little man is asleep. How many is that? So that is not not played with any sort of realism in mind. So I think the P16 should be fueled because it's got that fuel trailer. So if we come out of the roof rack, it's only a few litres, that's fine, right. And then I'll fill up the Land Rover, uh, both of the fuel storage capacity things and this trailer, and that'll be enough to manage fuel back in, uh, back in Black River, I hope. Excuse me. As is typical with me, um, full of the lurg again. The uh, the end of summer, start of autumn, so uh, it's, it's a back to school, so it's time to bring the germs home. I'm sure those with children uh, understand and appreciate that. So, refuel. We are coming out of there, and we are going to go into the scout trailer. We're going to go into my camel, roof rack, Land Rover. Beautiful, right. So let's get this back to Black River. Anyway, as always, I hope you are well. 
Um, if you have been eagerly anticipating the return, I do apologise. I, you know, I've said it in other content. Snowrunners sort of <laughs> hit me hard by uh, by being hard by uh, by rolling my trucks for me when I don't think it should have, and just like I felt like we've been stuck in places we never should be getting stuck in. But we are so close to being done in Michigan now. I, I mean, it's there's a lot. Don't get me wrong. There's still a lot of mileage to do. We've that's that's at least two double runs of medium logs back in. Oh, we don't even need to take the P16 for that because that only does long. Do I have? Let me just check. We don't have any other long logs. So that's all medium. That's all medium. That's all medium. Right. Yeah, because what I was going to do was switch over to the um, Western Star, weren't I? The White Western. And um, do mediums with that because that's what I've always, unless it's been on a, a save where I've got an abundance of cash floating around and I've used uh, an ANK. I've always generally done my mediums with the White Western, so that's what we'll do. We do have the Fleet Star out on this map. I did check that is parked up by the garage. We have the GMC parked up with a crane on it. I think that was back from when the P-16 flipped over for us so kindly. In Black River we have the White Western um, with our logs on. I'm thinking if the mediums aren't too expensive, I'm just going to auto load them. We're going to take the hit. Financially, 132. These last three jobs, I believe, pay out pretty good. Does it tell us the payment? Um, 17,000 for that one, 11,000 for that one. 22 grand for um, timber for the locals when we get this one finished. 22 grand. We'll see what's, what that's going to cost us. If not, we'll need a, need to probably bring the Fleet Star to load logs with and swap over. So I'm not going to do the, the log load at the. Um, the median logs with the fleet star that will get stuck. Now we're going to try and run our clock until 7 a.m. I think. We may have started a little earlier today. Uh, I think when we came in, it was like. 5.30, I looked at the map, it's probably about 6 o'clock, so we might, we might grab an extra hour, maybe we might do a 6 to 7. So exciting news as well, um, next year we get a new game from Sabre um, in the vein of a Mud Runner, Snow Runner Expeditions. It's called Roadcraft. Uh, I've got a little um, a little short chop down of the, uh, the trailer that I made. A bit naughty, just stole the trailer, did a little edit. Um, but that looks pretty cool. It's got some autonomy as well to vehicles, so you, it's got a little bit more logistics to it in the sense that you can set where you want other vehicles in your fleet to go so you're driving one place you can set those another car or truck or something to go to a different spot it has um, road and track repairing it's, it's in the vein of a bit like Michigan is that there was a storm and you're going out to repair things I'm not sure about all the deliveries and, and stuff like that they haven't shown a great deal it was just quick trailer but the uh, environment looked a lot more interactive with um, craning things out of the way it's like falling um, debris uh, 
they were, they were craning um, cargo containers and fallen pylons and um, like diesel cans and stuff like that to clear your way. Uh, coming out with uh, trucks full of sand. You could lay sand down in a river to start to build up the riverbed. Lay sand, lay, lay dirt and, and eventually um, tar gravel and tarmac and roll it over and then create your road so that you can get through with all your vehicles concept looks awesome, it's got the ground deformation and everything else that we've already expected from uh, Sabre and the uh, the Mud Runner, Snow Runner series say that, it, it all comes from spin tyres doesn't it I never got to play spin tyres I do keep thinking about trying to purchase a, a copy of spin tyres from like a a games key uh, provider they still sell it for around about 20, 20 pounds, 20 English pounds sterling. So it's, you know, even for its age, it's not cheap because it's harder to get by. So, interested in that. I've often thought about putting um, Mudrunner on the channel. Because I did a lot of Mudrunner on my console. I've been over this before. I did a lot of Mudrunner on my, Mudrunner on my console. But not a lot on my PC. Only earlier this year I brought Mudrunner on my PC because I couldn't find my uh, console copy. Obviously we've got Expeditions, another game that we need to go back and uh, dabble in some more. Expeditions has got its first like big season expansion as well, and we've not even finished the first area. We've not even finished all of Arizona yet. We didn't get to... Uh, is it... Um, Carpinthians or whatever it is. I thought that was a time, not a place, but yeah, something like that, isn't it? I did become a P. Anyway, yeah, we, I didn't even look at the second map. Um, so yeah, I'm way behind on that. I think I'll always be behind on all my games. The, uh, the guys in the Discord have uh, now become <laughs> accustomed to taking the mick at me and my games collection and how insanely grotesquely large it is. I could never buy another game. And I still wouldn't play all my games, probably before I die. It's stupid. Can't help it. Compulsive. If there's a sale on, I grab them. say um, being on Alaska and time here on my other console save just <laughs> makes me want to get these logs finished so much so much quicker but we can only go at the pace we can go yeah there's no real uh, hurry in this game along it goes at the pace it goes and at your, at your skill level and apparently mine is not as high as I thought it was So, quickest route would be... We do get stuck there a lot, don't we? Yeah, that'll be the quickest route still. That'll still be the quickest route. But I am thinking to try and help this series along. And give it a little bit of a boost that... Other than maybe... You know, the, the truck episode or stream per week. And then... Try and do Palengi, Palegni when I can with Terra Life Plus, and then the uh, the member series. So other than those sort of three or two streams and three recorded sessions, I think everything else that I do, I might try and focus on um, on recording SnowRunner and progressing this for the next few weeks because. The farmer views, farming views have naturally dropped. I mean, we could follow suit with the farming and we could do what everyone else has done and do, oh, look, my, my top 10 maps of FS22 and my, my top 
10, my top 15 mods of FS22 and, you know, spend time doing the same repeated content as everyone else, or I could just do me. Um, doing me doesn't always get me the views or the growth, but I, uh, I keep saying it, so I need to stick by it. I am not a sole FS content creator. I do have other games to play and other games I want to do. So I need to focus on them. We will be going ham, no doubt, on um, FS25 when it comes out. And I will still be playing um, Terra Life Plus once 25 comes out. Because it is absolutely amazing. And also, quick plug. I don't often do that in this sort of content. Talk about everything else. But if you are interested in Farm Sim, we are a Giants partner. And, um, we have a partner link for FS25 if you wish to support the channel and um, purchase your copy of FS25 through the link you can and the channel will get a little kickback there'll be a purchase direct through Giants with the Giants copy of the game you can still then if you wish to purchase your DLC any future DLCs and expansions through Steam um, I believe with 22 and 19 it was all compatible so, uh, so yeah, you can also buy it all, obviously, free giants for me as uh, DLCs and expansions release. We will have uh, codes and links for that as well. The same as if you want to go back and try a little bit of 22 or 19, there's uh, links and codes for that all in the Discord. So come and join the Discord as well. I'll put an FS25 link down in the description. And if you want anything else, come and join the Discord. I do have a, have a channel there for support and codes and donations and stuff if you ever wish to do that. I don't really ask for a lot of that because it's not really what I'm about, but some people like to. Those generous people are amazing. And if you would like to support the channel at all, in any tiny way, uh, we do have channel memberships that start from 99 pence. Uh, like I said earlier, we do have a channel membership series on Farm Sim that goes out. Uh, the members get that first. Uh, in in the future I'm going to try and make more channel member content as time allows me anyone that's followed me for a while will know that things disappear because I don't have a lot of time and then they come back when I do have time so just is what it is unfortunately I have small people at home and family and stuff so as much time as I spend on games, games cannot be the priority all the time. So, what? What to do? Do I have a bit of a tidy up today as well? Do you think as a, as a little sort of coming back episode, a little bit of a tidy up? Get the P16 back to a garage. Get this um, Chevy. I might try and get the Chevy through to the other map actually. Because I'm going to want that to go scoop up fuel from across the map during the big tidy up. Still, it's not going to get there easy. That's the trouble. Going to have to go the long way. don't think it's got much in it by way of um, repair stuff anyway so so if I we have a look if we refuel that is oh even the where are we going Twenty nine liters. Where can if I'm I'll leave it. Right. Try and get this out of here. Do we service trailer's only got twenty nine points, so I'm actually gonna leave that behind as well. If, if anything comes through and desperately needs a fix, they can grab it and take 20 repair points off it. Because you can't take them through. 
and I believe I believe there is one let's just check actually am I rolling? no I'm not right let's just check if I go through check on the dam there is yeah, there's a service trailer here, so we can go and pick one up and fill it up if need be. There's a fuel carrier there as well. Right. So we're gonna try and get, gonna try to get the Chevy through to the garage at the dam. We're not going to get the Chevy all the way down. Um, it's not got all wheel drive yet. I think the all wheel drive is in Alaska. I don't think it's anywhere here for us. Take that shortcut note. I'm just not confident enough with the Chevy. Not confident of anything anymore in in this save. If anything can go wrong, it does go wrong. This is something we've learned. And learned very slowly, apparently, although it happened rather quick. Although no it didn't. We went a good while. A good while without any issues. And then the P16 flipped on us, and then the Then the fleet star rolled on us the next day. And then it was a little while until I think the White Western rolled on us. And, and then I lost the P16. No, then I lost the fleet star down by that riverbed that I was adamant that we weren't going to roll on. And then after recovering that, the P16 rolled over there as well. Should be fine. We should be fine doing this. Um, yeah, P16 rolled there. Let's give that a recovery, and then I think we were good for a while. Good for quite a while until the P16 rolled while I was, or well, after I'd come out of the, did the hard bit, come out of the quarry after dropping off the logs down there, the long logs, and then um, yeah, it got stuck on an embankment and flipped, as you do. Now, I'm not 100% that this will get through my shortcut. I think it should do. It should. It should. This should, this should get through. Then again, we've got no all-wheel drive. Perhaps it, perhaps it won't. might be a bad call. I might be leaving the Chevy in the river. It's all good, it's all good. Let's grab a little faith. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, I'm not going to go that way, though. Now, when I first took that that route, um, I did get one or two comments. Not even knowing about taking trucks through there, or all that being a, a particularly safe route. But that's one that I always took and sort of stayed away from because of the hard road. And then I sort of did it just sort of wanted to crack on, and everything went well with it. I think we got stuck a little bit once. But that was after going that same route like four or five times. 
but when we go get these medium logs, we'll uh, we'll probably um, be going through there again. I don't think there's any um, resources or anything left in town for me to gather up. Maybe a random crate of something we don't need anymore left on the side of the road, but other than that, I think we're good. We'll just check them out. We have a trailer that's no use to us we can't sell, another trailer that we can't sell. Miss out on so much money not being able to sell trailers. Damn you, hard mode. And you can't take them through either. So sometimes you'll go for a probably reach a location. And think, oh man, if only I could have that trailer. And you've got one here. Now if you can import a vehicle, it'd be nice if you can import a trailer. You can't sell them. And in some, some occasions it will maybe force you to buy one. I don't know. Whoa, 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 let's not get bouncy. Calm that down, good sir. Right, we wanna... This is horrid here. Always horrid. We're gonna try and... Best we can. There we go. Lovely, lovely. Whenever you're in anything that's not all-wheel drive, that's a risk. Uh, we do have the, uh... The expensive tyres, from where I've brought every every vehicle has expensive tyres. That's a thing. I'll have to uh, to get back to watching um, Wessel and his hard mode. Although where where I left off, I think he was in the in, the, in his fourth region, so way off from where I am. I forget what the fourth one was off the top of my head. If we uh, uh, cooler, that'll be where he'll be, isn't it? Yeah, that's where he is. after we've done our first three <laughs> so in about four years after we've done our first three we're going to mix up where we go though we're not going to go through them in release order just so that we get different vehicles at different points and try and mix up you know some of the entertainment some of the content and if not our series is then pretty much exactly the same as everyone else's like in order wise and what we get and what we do now I like I, I said but I know that there's a map that allows you to build a gas station or um, oil refinery thing or something you get to produce your own diesel I, th I think I need to figure out find out which map that is and get that early so at least I can produce have free fuel. You just have to keep paying to bring it through in your tanker. That might be a thing I need, the way things are going. Whether that'll be uh, our fourth episode or not, I don't know, because that, that probably requires some beefy trucks that you'll have picked up along the way to, uh, to work that. Although I believe it should give you, you know, a lot of the vehicles that you should need, but I don't know. Not always. Not necessarily always. I guess it depends on when, when it came out in release line. Right, so next we're going to get the P16... up here. We'll stay on this map. So we haven't got to do another load screen jump, lose too much time of day. And we'll bring the P-16. We are fully fueled. We 
Now this can only take a high a high hit, so we can't use this to to then pull back, bring back the uh, the fuel trailers, unfortunately. That'll be a white western star jobby as well. Just to be the most efficient. We can do it with a fleet star, but it will be slow. We're going to have enough slow episodes pulling um, medium logs about. Just, I just want to double check. I have definitely delivered all my long logs, haven't I? Medium, medium. Medium, medium. Just where we are. Sort of traffic, right there. Oh no, this has got long logs. Oh, because we've only done one lot. Okay, yeah, so we're getting this back. Ooh, we've got to get this back to uh, Black River. Good job, I checked. We've got to go once more into Island Lake with this. To the sawmill. Yeah. Get you home. Stuck, we got stuck on. Come on. I had one more, one more run to do. Why was I in the uh, land drill? That's my question.
I was trying to move it up a gear. We haven't got one. We haven't got it up here. Should be good to go in automatic for a bit then. Hopefully. Does mean I've got to come up that <laughs> that ramp or that dirt track from the quarry and pull lighting again and try not to roll. If I remember rightly, we had to detach the log trailer this is not turning at all this is horrid horrid come on Has not exuded me with confidence in uh, climbing the upcoming hill. Climb of choice. I feel like I've got absolutely no traction. You know, this wheel spinning. Wheel spinning for the low. There you go, there's the old. Uh, that's the old. The old log trailer. Just to remind us of the good times we had. Probably going to be in my way. There you go, it's gone. Nice and easy. Yeah, I don't know what I did so wrong that got me flipped there. Impatience. Frustration, normally. I was just checking for repairs to see if I needed to attach to the um, repair trailer, but we should be good. should at least at least make it back to the logging site I think whether we get the logs on and start heading back I'm not sure but we should at least get there so we have to be careful because we'll end up popping a tire or something then we'll be screwed again. If 
has been in the Discord. I was saying a while back that he has started another run on SnowRunner and has edited the fuel tanks so they're all smaller. <laughs> it's a small tank run. The man is mad. If I was to go into the XMLs and uh, edit the fuel tanks, they would definitely be getting bigger. They'd get, all get an extra zero on the end. Uh. Another wasted trailer. Set speed. Should be able to sell them for twenty five per cent. Twenty five per cent of cost. Set for let us sell the trailers at 25% of cost but have all loading that's so you have to pay for it so, so even if you load it on to the manual load there's a price to it and auto load is even more I think that's how hard mode should be that's how I have I have a third save which I haven't played on a long while that is pretty much how I have it set up so that everything costs um, but trailers sell for 25%. Everything else is pretty much set to hard mode rules, apart from that, allowing you to sell your trailers when you're finished. to Black River. Skip that in the night. Skip to during the day, so we'll definitely skip it in the night. Let's get our lights on. What is the time? It, oh, we've got hours. We've got hours. Seven hours. We should get these logs loaded up. Depends on how long it takes us to cross the river, doesn't it? That's always the... Uh, the sucker punch.
fingers crossed for a smooth and efficient crossing. hoping to uh, attach to the pole in front but it wants to go for the one behind us I was hoping for a little extra up the hill there we go yeah I didn't want to jinx it at the time but that was pretty smooth crossing measured well paced and consistent that was the thing with it no, no stopping and starting, just kept pushing through. A very nice. Loading these uh, logs is going to be fun. Haven't done that in a while. <laughs> Doing it in the dark. Got to be great. Easy big boy, easy big boy, easy. Just got one more run to do, one more run, that's it. Then we can put you at rest for a bit, I hope. You know, if the White Western Star gets stuck somewhere, I'll probably have to pull this out of retirement. Well, it's not going into retirement, but it's certainly uh, going down for a bit of respite. some fuel Try part close I think well, that's gonna make much difference. Oh, don't do that. Yeah, no, you want to log. Long logs. Long logs. Yep. So, three. There we go. I think I parked a little too far away, aren't I? Rather than the hassle of all the reaching, let's just try and get a truck and trailer a bit closer. Just for once. Let's do it. Sort of smart. Yeah, 
still a bit of a bit of a reach. Yeah. Me doing anything smart is a bit of a reach. Okay. Come on. Lewis, though. Swing back round. I still say that this is easier than logging on FS22. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's head on out, partner. Time. Four o'clock. Got a few hours. But that's. I think. What, what was the uh, ratio? Like an hour is about three minutes. Something like that. Three, four minutes for an hour. So if we've got three hours, we've got about 12, 13 minutes. I'd say this one might be a little bit longer. A few minutes longer than normal. Uh, just because we have the opportunity to grab that extra hour, I think, at the start. It's the gear changes that kill it. it kills all momentum need a better gearbox for this if we're going to use it again I, I imagine this is going to see some use it's not like we can afford to buy those uh, <laughs> amazing DLC trucks don't have the money not with the way I burn through fuel I think we probably probably bought a couple of tanks worth, haven't we? Like vehicle tanks, not vehicle tank tanks. But we've definitely stopped off and, and, and purchased a bit a bit of fuel along the road, if I remember rightly. Right. Our Airbus turn and circle. Oh wow. On something, and you want to reverse. Try and get across the river. 
across the river before the sun's up. Again, I'm going to drop it low and we'll just try and be consistent. It might not work just because of the extra weight. But sometimes you find with the P16 leaving it in automatic and just persevering is better not always we'll definitely be winching our way back across Something to pull us. There we go. There's something. No visible winch points, it says. Come on. Let's get that out of the way. a little something. Come on. There we go. This is where we waste so much fuel as well. When under load with the logs. They never got rid of that, that whole push in for no reason. Is what it is, as I like to say, it is what it is. 15 miles an hour, we wish. We wish we went that quick. That's, I don't know why I pull over to the side, like trying to get out of the way for other people. That's six, that's that. Yeah, we're going to leave it at that. That is, that is us for this returning episode. My camera? That's because I'm on the trailer. That'd be why that was weird. Okay. Um, yeah, that'll be up. That'll be us for this returning episode. I'm going to pause it there. So sorry, I'm going to run away. So I think that's a good spot to uh, to leave the truck rather than three minutes down the road when we'll probably be stuck in stones or somewhere. But hopefully, you've enjoyed the return. I will try and get these out as quick and as often as I humanly can. At the moment, it's not always easy, but I will try and make this a focus. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. If you have, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. And if you are new, go back to the beginning and find our frustrating journey of how we got to here at this point. At like, I don't know even know how many episodes this is, like 50 something. Too many. Too many episodes. Anyway. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.